Before we get into this video, I want to go ahead and put a very clear disclaimer at the beginning for anyone who may be new to this channel. This video is either an update for my Pan That palette, which heavily features a Jeffree Star Cosmetics palette, or it is a video in which I am using products from companies I no longer support. There's been a lot of long overdue drama happening in the beauty community along with the supposed cancellation of Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson. I did a live stream where I really put together all of my thoughts on kind of the most recent drama, though probably most of it is out of date. I'll throw it up in the cards if you want to hear my full long drawn out thoughts. But at the end of the day, I do not support Shane Dawson, I do not support Jeffree Star, and I don't support quite a few makeup brands at this point. Back when I did buy these products, I was interested in the makeup and I was trying my best to do what a lot of other creators can do, which is separate the art from the artist. I did my best to do that, but then I realized that I recognized a line and that once uh, a company or a creator or a person or a celebrity crossed that line, I could not support it and I couldn't separate the makeup from the company or the makeup from the owner or the art from the artist. and. It took a lot of reflection to get to that point. I reached that conclusion and I realized I had to apply that across the board. I couldn't pick and choose which celebrities, which influencers I was going to support and not support based on their actions and then their company's actions. So I had to apply that across the board. So as of now, I currently own quite a few Jeffree Star Cosmetics uh, makeup products. I also have a few from other brands I no longer support, but that's basically the gist of this. And I don't want to advocate throwing away products that you've already bought, you've already spent the money. I want to advocate reflecting on your own actions and reflecting on how you move forward. So I advocate for using up uh, products from problematic people, problematic brands, using them up and then decluttering them and never purchasing from the brand again. I've seen a lot of people immediately take down their past support videos for these brands. I'm keeping mine up, not because I'm like making a lot of money on them. I usually make less than a dollar a video, but I want to leave them up so that you have a clear picture of where I came from. Because I did start out as someone who did their best to separate art from the artist so that I could enjoy makeup, which is a terribly shallow and horrible thing to do. Like we, these people, of which I used to be one of them, would excuse all of these behaviors or try to ignore these behaviors in order to what? In order to what? enjoy some YouTube videos, in order to have some pretty makeup. It's not like we have a shortage of makeup here, right? We have anti hauls and we have B-Wows that tell us there's so much makeup coming out every day. So that's what I advocate for. So I just want to go ahead and put this in the beginning of any video moving forward. If it's a Pan That Palette update or if it's any other video where I heavily feature um, a product from one of those brands. Um, I'm, I'm sorry if this gets repetitive, but I do want to make that very loud and clear, especially in light of recent events. So with that out of the way, let's jump into the video. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to be doing my seventh, I'm not good with numbers, my next update for my Pan That Palette for 2020 Jeffree Star's Blood Sugar Palette. So I have to say, I actually had, well, not only did the beauty community kind of blow up this month, but I hit a bit of a plateau with this palette, and I felt really discouraged, like really, really discouraged. But... I then sat back and I realized we're only in July. Like this is, it's right now, I guess we're technically now we're halfway through 2020. And I am more than two thirds of the way done with my goal for this palette. And so I really had to put into perspective my like progress and my goals. Cause I have, I do have the rest of this year, the rest of 2020 to finish my goal, which was to hit pan in every one of these shades. So before I talk a little bit more into that, let's go ahead and jump into the slideshow of my progress up until this point.
and this is my palette now. As you can see, I only have one new pan, and it is in this shade right here. Compared to my last few months of progress, this is a plateau, quite honestly. And I have been using these shades a lot, especially during the work week. I've actually been doing my go-to look has been these three shades right here and then um, I mix it up with shimmer sometimes I use the shimmer from in here sometimes I use a color pop a uh, super shock shadow sometimes I use a stila glitter and glow but that's kind of been my go-to and that's why I was able to hit pan in this darkest red shade because I really do like to dig in and uh, build up for a nice deep red outer corner so that's how I got pan in this one I think my next one, I kind of want to go back to using these purple shades so I can hit pan in this pan over here. Because quite honestly, I've been focusing on these three shades. I've really been neglecting these three. Um, I think the hardest ones are going to be these two, especially this one, because this one's kind of like a shimmer. It's not a full matte shade. This one's going to be, I think, my, the last one I probably will hit pan on. Um, so yeah, I also got kind of bored. Because, like I, like I mentioned, I only had, like, one kind of go-to look, which was, like, these three shades. And it kind of looked the same day in and day out. Thankfully, I'm able to actually keep going in and using this on a daily basis because I'm working from home. And so the red eyeshadow doesn't look as stark, you know, on a video camera as it does in person. So I was able to have a little bit of progress, but yeah, I felt, like, discouraged this month. I felt blah with this project but I went back and I rewatched my other two pan that palettes from 2018 and from 2019 and I realized right around this point right around the halfway point was where I struggled the most and I tend to hit a plateau right around you know month five six seven and then I kind of speed back up and I get right into the groove of things before I hit the goal so that, I think that's just what I'm doing here I think I think in addition to like the beauty community kind of blowing up and like following all that and what's happening and being aware in addition to our world just still being on fire i i don't know i just i lost a little bit of the passion for this project since i'm really now down to only five more shades and that should that should excite me i don't feel it as much now but i do know i do know that the monica of a month or two ago would be so excited to only have five pans to go so i think i'm just feeling like the halfway blahs of project panning for right now so that's why i didn't film a look for this update because i've just been doing those same three shades and it's been kind of bleh so i think my goal for the next month is really gonna be to like find some more creative ways of using these same shades because i really do want to focus on just these final five shades if I could finish this in a month or two, that'd be fantastic. I have no idea if that's going to happen, but I really do want to focus on those other shades. So maybe it might be finding some sister palettes. Maybe it'll be finding some single shadows or maybe even bringing in like some highlighters to use as shimmers on top of them. I don't know. I feel like I lost the passion for the project, but I'm, I'm sticking with it because I am so close to hitting my goal on this and I want to finish this up and I want to get this decluttered once I hit pan in every shade. <sighs> so yeah, there's not really too much to talk about in this update. Um, I did just film a new kind of disclaimer that I'm going to put at the beginning of every one of these updates as well as the beginning of any other videos I do moving forward that heavily feature, you know, Jeffree Star Cosmetics or any other more problematic brands that I still own. Because I do want to, I want to advocate using up the products that you've already bought. Either sell them or use them up, but I don't want people to throw away uh, what they spent their hard-earned money on just because the owner or the company is a shit stain like just saying so yeah that's it for now if you guys are panning a palette this year let me know down below if you're also running into the same kind of blah I, like i said i looked through my other palettes and i did realize that like right around this time every year i do hit the same kind of like i don't know what the word is rut <laughs> i do hit that same kind of rut every year around this time so i think it's just I'm six months into using this palette. I'm so close to my goal, but I still have a lot of work to do. So I think I'm just kind of meh. So what I'm actually going to do, I really want to put this away for a week. 
I want to take a whole week off from this palette, just put it away, use some other palettes. I'm actually wearing a different palette on my eye, actually three different palettes on my eyes today. Um, I don't know when the video is going up, but it's a chatty get ready with me. Um, I'll throw that up in the cards if it's happened to be up before this update. If not, make sure you subscribe so you can see what I did later on. But I really just want to step away, maybe a week, maybe two weeks, just take a break from the palette. And then maybe I'll come back with like fresher eyes and more ideas and I won't feel like as burnt out with the palette because I really have been going full steam ahead the past few months on this palette and I am doing pretty good time considering I do have until December to finish this but I think it's a good idea. I think I am going to take a break from the palette and then go back in with some new perspective and fresher eyes. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below how your pen that palette is going and let me know if you like my little new light bulbs. I made them red because because Jeb Bush Starship. People keep calling him like Voldemort, which is kind of hilarious to me, but I'm also having way too much fun with uh, light bulbs because I'm still in my house most of the time. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.